Hey, what is going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. So, today I actually wanted us to have a discussion about Cinder, and when should she return? Now, this is the big thing to actually think about, and I've done a lot of thinking about when should Cinder return, and I actually kind of wanted to just go over this a little bit. So, sit back, relax, I hope you all enjoy, and let's go ahead and jump right on into this discussion. Now, when looking at Cinder, I understand there are some people who do not like her character, and some people hope that she doesn't come back, and then there are some people who do, such as myself. I myself am a fan of Cinder personally, and just because I like her doesn't mean that you have to, but I think that, as I've talked about before, Cinder does actually need to come back, and there's a big reason as to why Cinder should come back. Now, I want to swiftly go into this before I talk about when Cinder should return, but looking at Cinder's character and thinking about her as a character, she was a big antagonist for the first three volumes. She was the biggest part of that. And, of course, her whole entire goal was to abolish everything Ozpin stood for. It was to stand out against Ozpin and to take him down for what he was doing. Now... When you think about Cinder, though, as a character, and when you look at her, the original idea for her was to be the foil to Ruby, and of course, as time progressed, it, to some degrees, really feels like she hasn't been, and the reason why I say this is because, well, Cinder's had opportunity after opportunity to go up against Ruby, and when you actually think about it and you look at it, really, the only time that Cinder did have... I guess a fight or somewhat to the idea of a fight against Ruby was the Silver Eyes moment and really when Cinder infiltrated the communications tower in volume 2 and that wasn't really much of a fight either. So would you really think of it there's not really much that Cinder has had when it comes to fighting Ruby and of course we still need to know of the events of the Silver Eyes. I mean those have been really thrown aside and kept as much of a mystery as possible. And I think we do need to know of the events eventually, because the sooner the better, really, rather than trying to put it off as much as possible. But Cinder is not presented as dead. She is presented as an unknown status right now, so that means she could be alive, she could be dead. So until we get confirmation of Cinder being dead, we can't sit here and say, oh yeah, she's dead, she's never coming back. So right now we just have to say that her whereabouts are unknown. That's the best thing we can go there. But... If you think about it, there are some plot lines that really need to be done with Cinder, as well as her backstory and things to that sort. But the biggest part now to think about is, when should Cinder return? Because if you think about it, Cinder's character needs to be explored more, considering she was introduced in Volume 1. She has been such a big character since Volume 1. And, of course, in Volume 3, we got a little bit of the backstory of how she was able to a line of force to actually go against Ozpin, we did get to see that. But thinking about Cinder's character, we do need to know her backstory. We do need to have unresolved plot lines, well, resolved. And if Cinder were to be killed off now, then there would be so many plot lines that would just be thrown out the window. There would be a backstory there that would probably not be completely known unless Salem knows it. And it would just be really a hole in this character that has been built up for so long. So, looking at this, Cinder probably needs to stay gone for Volume 6, and the reason why I say this is so that other characters can be focused on, and with Volume 6 and the character short being about Adam, maybe this could be his arc, maybe he could be the big bad boss of this arc, therefore meaning Cinder can sit on the sidelines for now, and the arc with Adam can be resolved. Maybe some more things with that story that is not completely finished can actually be worked on and resolved within this arc, or closer to being resolved. Because if Cinder were to return now, this would be a bit too soon, I think, even though there are things that still need to be worked out with her character, I feel like other plot lines do need to be focused on for now, and of course, because of Cinder's loss to Raven, this can allow Cinder to have some time to recover and plan out what she's going to do next. So, really, when she should come back should not be in Volume 6. Now, if they want to throw a teaser in there and show maybe Cinder returning with the post credit scene, that would be fine. I wouldn't actually mind that because that would mean Cinder is trying to make her comeback or she is returning to the series 
and that could mean that something could actually happen along those lines. Now, if Volume 7 is going to be when they actually hit Atlas, or at the end of Volume 6 they make it to Atlas, so then the Volume 7 arc be about Atlas, the thing is, I think Watts and Tyrion need to be focused a bit more. Because Watts, there's really no information about this guy, except for other than him really being a doctor. That's about all we really know. We don't know too much about Watts, and this could be the time to make him the big antagonist of Atlas. Or have Tyrion team up with Watts and then both be the antagonist of Atlas for Team Ruby. This would not be a problem, and that would be fine. So then you could keep Cinder maybe out of the fray, but if you put a post credit scene for Volume 6 of Cinder coming back, that would lead you to wonder, is she going to come back in Volume 7? Is it going to be beyond that time period? You know, it could leave you questioning, when is her moment to show up? And that would not be bad, because that could be a decent suspenseful moment to make you think, well, Cinder could come back here, she could come back there. So that wouldn't hurt, really. And several other series, sometimes if a villain returns, it may be for quite some time if they did survive during their arc or an arc that concerns this villain as the main villain. And of course, they usually tend to build up a villain throughout arcs. So Cinder's return could be later rather than sooner, and I would actually be kind of okay with this to actually allow other characters to be able to grow and develop and to have their own stories. And then, of course, Cinder's story could continue once she returns. And if Cinder were to be thrown out of the series until volume 8 maybe. This could allow the writers to have enough time to write a story arc for her, hopefully a good one, and this could allow her backstory to make sense as to who she is, where she came from, and why she joined Salem. And that's the big thing you have to think about, is that that is one big part about a character. You have to really define their character. You have to really build them up. And considering that Cinder has had some build-up, and if you think about her character, finally being able to take her out of the series for a little while, and then maybe work on her backstory for when she returns to explain more behind who she is, how she found Salem, and everything to that sort, when you think about it, that would probably be a very good thing for Cinder's character, because maybe, and hopefully, a good story can be made out of this. And... I would really like to actually know what her backstory is. I would actually like to see from her perspective because if she were to give out what she has felt and what she's gone through over her life, that would be a good thing and it would really show us the depth to her character. And sometimes these stories can really help you relate to that character and I think that this would be the good time to be able to work on her, if any at all, because during the time that the writers would take to write something else, like plot lines or other characters and their stories, this would also be a good time to actually come up with a little bit of an idea for Cinder and then gradually make it more into her story. Rewrite it, develop it, and go from there. So I think that Volume 8 might be the best time for her to come back, and I think this could give the writers enough time to actually come up with a backstory before Volume 1, with a big backstory before the events of Cinder getting a group together and figuring out what her past when she was younger was actually like and what made her become who she is today. But anyways, I'll be back again on Tuesday. Let me know what you think down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did enjoy, hit the video with a like. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And share this with your friends if you found this video informative or useful. Anyways, I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today. And remember, if today was not a good day, tomorrow could always be better. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you. And have yourselves a good one out there, everybody.